As a result of the ongoing sit-down strike by teachers of the humanities across the country, the guardians of 11-year-old Aaron Waligo, a primal for pupil at Chitante Primal School, did not send him to school yesterday, Friday, 17th June. At around 1 p.m., armed robbers, also carrying pangas, came to break into the neighbor's rental room while the neighbor had gone to collect her children from school. The deceased is said to have spotted these robbers. This prompted the robbers to follow this boy to his uncle's house, where they hit him on the head and cut his neck. The murderers then sneaked away, and the boy was later found lying on the floor in a pool of blood. He found when they had stamped him on the head, it was too much, he had bled a lot. So we took him to Mengo Hospital, they tried to work on him, they put on oxygen, they took the x-ray for the head, but the damage was too much. He was transferred to Malago Hospital, where a post-mortem exercise was carried out on him. A required mass has been held at St. Thomas Kiwunya Parish Church of Uganda in Nakulabi. Area leaders condemned rising crime caused by severe unemployment for Waligo's death. The cause of this all is joblessness and unemployment. But again, we're not going to just sit and go out breaking into people's houses and murdering others because we are jobless. Police say investigations are ongoing and the hunt for the suspect continues. The unfortunate bit, the crime scene was trampled, with, trampled uh, by uh, the first responders and uh, the police couldn't pick any samples from ground that could be useful and also we couldn't use the dog. The, also the unfortunate bit is that uh, the CCTV cameras around the area are too far that we can't use them. So we are going to deploy the intelligence uh, component. The body has today been transferred to Kasesa village in Liantonde and will be buried tomorrow, Sunday at 2 p.m. Oh.